Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and talk about the globalist hatred for Christianity uh, tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. That's one of the reasons you know that Christianity is the one true faith. Stick around and listen. Yes, the globalists have this terrible hatred for Christianity, um, and uh, you'll notice it. There are many, many examples. Uh, you know, I could, I could probably sit here all day and talk to you about them, ladies and gentlemen. But they absolutely hate it, ladies and gentlemen, because as we all know, they work for Satan. They work for Lucifer. They work for Beelzebub. So um, they really hate Christianity, okay? It's quite obvious. One of the recent examples of that is the way the Google didn't do one of its little decorations, one of its little, you know, kind of images for Easter. Because it's, it's it, they do Christmas, right? Because Christmas, you know, obviously is a big thing for people who trade online. So they obviously thought they've got to celebrate Christmas. But it, it, let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, it's the resurrection that they hate. It's the riz. They hate the fact that Jesus came back and saved humanity. They hate all that stuff, right? So they hate Easter, right? So they didn't do anything. They'll celebrate Ramadan. They'll celebrate Eid. They'll celebrate Dim Willy, whatever the hell that is, or Dim Willy. I can't even pronounce the bloody thing. Some ridiculous foreign um, Indian festival. So they'll celebrate everything else, but they won't celebrate the risen Christ, ladies and gentlemen. Why is that? Well, because they're a bunch of bastards, first of all, and they work for Satan, as I said before. But, you know, it's just... I think it's actually quite informative the way they particularly hate Christianity. They'll celebrate any Jewish festival, they'll ce celebrate all that stuff, Passover, they'll celebrate, uh, I don't know, what some of the other Jewish festivals, I, can't, I don't even want to know what they are, ladies and gentlemen, I've heard, heard of some of them. But like, you know, that is what they're about, and I think the way that they hate them, the way that this evil global elite force hates Christianity, is one of the reasons you know it is actually the true faith. Um, and so it's very instructive for the, the fact that they hate it, because they don't want you to have contact with the risen Christ and with Christianity, which um, I believe is the one true faith on this planet. So, you know, that's interesting, isn't it? You know, um, and, uh, you know, I think Christianity, um, you know, obviously they clearly haven't studied their history, ladies and gentlemen, because Christianity itself, it, um, it flourishes under oppression. It flourishes when people attack it. So the more that the globalists want to attack it, the more the Christianity, in a sense, fries, because it still is the world's number one religion. The most people, I think it's the one religion in the world that the most people believe in, um, which is a great thing. Uh, obviously, Islam is giving it a run for its money, but then I don't think Islam should necessarily be an enemy of Christianity. Obviously, the globalists have been attempting to make Islam fight Christianity. I think that's what September 11 uh, was all about. Um, you know, uh, I mean, look, you speak to any Muslim and you just say, look, we know you weren't behind 9-11 and they just go, thank you, you know, you know. We won't go into the details there because we'll probably get another strike, ladies and gentlemen. But like, uh, you know, there was something weird going on with September 11 and I don't think, I think, you know, Muslims were obviously used in it, you know, through Saudi Arabia, but I think there was another force behind what was going on there. And the idea was to put the Christian world, um, you know, make the Christian world fight with the Muslim world. So I do think, um, you know, the Muslim world are actually our brothers ladies and gentlemen they're fully red-pilled if you ever talk to them about politics if you ever talk to them about countries like israel they're fully red-pilled on that topic ladies and gentlemen they'll they'll tell you all about what's been going on and they have some interesting knowledge to share with us uh, so um you know it's very interesting so um you know don't fight with other religions we can respect other religions but you should note the way that um you know easter was basically um you know not um featured on, on Google when they celebrate just about every other festival from every other ethnic community around the world. And that wasn't in, and I think that speaks volumes. You know, just you just need to look up uh, who runs Google. Yes, the usual suspects, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, you know, obviously they're involved in um, the manipulation and control of social media through Facebook, through Amazon, through Google, through many other uh, such places. So, you know, this is it. And the fact that they hate Christianity speaks to its truth. And um, and that's all, you know, I've got to say on that, but I just thought I'd do a little report to let you know about that and, um, you know, to praise the risen Christ, ladies and gentlemen. Amen.